Hello friends, to continue our discussion about acid stimulation, here we will discuss the role of lithology or mineralogy in acid stimulation. So let's start our discussion with the definition of lithology. The lithology of a rock unit is a description of its physical characteristics such as color, texture, grain size and composition. We can also define lithology as a microscopic nature of the mineral content, grain size, texture and color of the rocks. So when we talk about the lithology, the main things or main properties of the rocks we have to discuss includes color, minerals and the grain size of the rock from which it has been made. The common other rocks which we came across the globe include carbonates and sandstone. So for a stimulation engineer to design the stimulation job, it is needed to have a detailed knowledge regarding lithology and particularly mineralogy of these reservoir rocks. So if you want to have a good knowledge regarding well stimulation, it is the basic requirement that we need to have the clear understanding of lithology of the rocks. And in lithology, particularly we need to understand mineralogy. In geology, minerals are known as the building blocks of rock. Geologists define minerals as a naturally occurring inorganic solid crystalline substance which has a fixed structure and a chemical composition which is either fixed or which may vary within certain defined limits. So simply the building block of a rock are called minerals and the study of these minerals is called mineralogy and for a stimulation engineer he must have good knowledge about the minerals that is a building block of the rocks for which he is going to design the stimulation. Below is given a list of some common minerals which make up most of the reservoir rocks. These are quartz. Here is the mineral name, here it is chemical composition and here is the crystalline form. And the first mineral written over is quad, quartz which is made of silicon and oxygen, silicon dioxide. Then the feldspar, different forms of feldspar include orthocos, microcline, albite, plagioclase. And these are all formed with aluminium, oxygen, potassium and silicon. These are basically silicates of aluminium and aluminium and potassium. Then micas and the different forms of micas include biotite, muscovite, here its chemical composition. Then we have clays and different form of clays include kaolinite, illite, smectite and other mixed layers. Here we can see the composition of these minerals. Other minerals which we found normally in the reservoir rocks include carbonates and different forms of carbonates include calcite, dolomite, anchorite, sidrite. And the carbo the most common form of carbonates is the calcite, calcium carbonate and dolomite, calcium magnesium carbonate. Then we have sulfates which is basically gypsum and anhydrite and other minerals like halite, iron oxides etc. And the most common mineral and most important minerals among these list include quartz, feldspar and carbonates because most most of the times the sandstone is composed of quartz and feldspars and most of the times limestone is composed of carbonates etc. Here we will see the mineralogy and acid selection relation. During stimulation acid reacts with the, these minerals which ultimately results in increase of reservoir permeability. We have already discussed that the main objective of the well stimulation is to increase the is increase the productivity or increase the formation permeability. To increase the formation perme permeability, what is actually happening? Our acid is reacting with the formation and then it dissolves the formation which then result in the increase of the permeability. So in order to understand the interaction of the acid with the formation, we need to understand about the minerals that which what is the composition of the rock we are going to treat. The acid which will be used in stimulation will directly depend upon mineralogy of rock we are going to treat. For example, calcite minerals are dissolved in HCl acid while HF is used to treat quartz minerals and calcite form carbonate rocks and quartz form sandstone. So when we are treating carbonates we will use HCl based acid and when we are using sandstone we will use 
HF base asset system. So before going to understand or before going to discuss the stimulation design, it is needed to have a clear understanding regarding mineralogy of carbonates and sandstones. We will discuss mineralogy of carbonates and sandstones separately in our next tutorial. Up till now that is for today's tutorial that is the mineralogy and lithology of rocks and their interaction with the well stimulation. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.